guys, Ursa Dia here, and I'm back with another fun Otomania video. As you can see, we have kind of a different setup. I moved back home because I am now done with undergraduate. I got new equipment like this brand new mic you see in front of me. I also upgraded my camera. And so this is my current new temporary setup. Um, I am going to clean off my desk and probably move to there for a more permanent setup. But for now, this is what we're working with. So please let me know down in the comments below if you notice any like weird things with the audio or the video, just so I can look to fix it in the future because I've never worked with these like equipment before. So please let me know so I can make better videos for you guys. Um, anyways, today we are here with a fun Otomania episode. We are going to do the Otome Hunger Games. And I actually just recorded an entire like 26 minute video doing this but then when I looked at the footage my camera was on the wrong side um so it blocked like half of the simulation so luckily this time that's not the case so we're going to redo this but I hope you guys enjoyed I was inspired by Unis Honest they did this for YouTubers and I thought, hey, it'd be fun if we did this for Otome characters. So there are 12 districts. Each district is a show or game series involving Otome. And then each tribute is my favorite tribute and my second favorite tribute, I guess. Some of them I couldn't decide between my second favorite characters, so I just, like, picked one. Um, but let's get into it. So... District 1, Kamigami no Asobi. Tributes, Takaru, Apollon. Low-key hoping Takaru wins, but I am biased. He is my anime husband. District 2, Utapri. We have Sho and I. District 3, we have Ikimen Vampire with Isaac and Mozart. District 4, we have Code Realize with Victor and Van Helsing. District 5 is Norn 9. We have Senri and Akito. And oh my god, and I don't know if history will repeat itself, but my first recording of this, um, Senri killed Akito, like, the first death of the game. And if you, like, played the games, or if you've watched, like, Norn 9, you should know how, like, terrible that is like that's top 10 like anime betrayals like that's the worst probably killing that happened all of last game um district six is oz mafia with scarlet and karamia district seven is mystic messenger with 707 and yusung and no i did not purposefully put 707 in district seven that was actually just a coincidence. Um, I just wrote them down in order of which they came to my mind, and that's how 707 ended up in District 7. District 8 is Ikimen Revolution with Rei and Fenrir. District 9 is Brothers Conflict with Natsume and Yusuke. District 10 is Diabolic Lovers with Ayato and Subaru. District 11 is Meiji Tokyo Renka with Shunso and Kyoka. And District 12, last but not least, is Dance with Devils with Rem and Lindo. And while I was making this, I listened to the songs from Dance with Devils, which are great, but really cheesy when you think about the context of the show. I might do a review of it soon just because I'm really, like, it, it piqued my interest again. So, let's get started. <clears throat> Gotta get my announcer voice on. The bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Kyoka and Victor fight for a bag. Victor gives up and retreats. Shunso gathers as much food as he can. Akito runs away from the cornucopia. Fenrir runs away from the cornucopia. Lindo grabs a shovel. Scarlet runs away from the cornucopia. Ayato runs away with a lighter and some rope. Senrir, Sen, <laughs> that I can read. Senri runs away from the cornucopia. 
Yusuke grabs the shovel. Takaru runs away from the cornucopia. Yusung grab takes a handful of throwing knives. Oh, I do not trust him with those. Ray runs away from the cornucopia. Mozart gathers as much food as he can. Isaac runs away from the cornucopia. Natsume runs away from the cornucopia. Subaru runs away from the cornucopia. I runs away from the cornucopia. Wow, they're really running away from the cornucopia. Aplon rips a mace out of 707's hands. Van Helsing grabs a sword. Karamia accidentally steps on a landmine. Oh, R.I.P. Karamia. Rem grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Sho snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Well, you know. Que sera, sera. Day one. Akito kills Natsume while he is resting. Yusuke goes hunting. Isaac shoots an arrow into Victor's head. Yeah, gravity. <laughs> He's aiming. I feel like Isaac probably wouldn't have actually made the shot. Just was such a bad aim that it ended up hitting Victor. Scarlet picks flowers. Loki actually... That's pretty on brand. <laughs> Takaru sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Yusung is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Hyoka fishes. Van Helsing explores the arena. Rem pushes I off a cliff during a knife fight? Wow. Shunso defeats 707 in a fight, but spares his life. Apollon camouflages himself in the bushes. Senri, Subaru, and Mozart, and Ray raid Lindo's camp while he is hunting. Oh, we got like the white haired anime guys teaming up. Sho strangles Fenrir after engaging in a fist fight. You know, that kind of checks out. Like, I feel like. Eh, Fenrir's pretty good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. If Fenrir had guns, Sho definitely would have gone down. But I think Sho could take him hand-to-hand. -hand. Ayato unknowingly eats toxic berries. Fallen Tributes. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Karamia, District 6. Natsume, District 9. Victor, District 4. I. District 2, Fenrir, District 8, Ayato, District 10. Night 1, Yusung kills Sho with his own weapons. Pretty sure Sho's only weapon was his hands. Yusuke, Rem, and Scarlet tearfully sing songs together. You know, Rem, I could see Loki doing that just because of how Dance with Devils is, like, set up, but the rest is kind of weird. Van Helsing loses sight of where he is. Akito ambushes Shunso and kills him. Dude. Akito, ha like, is starting his kill count high. Kyoka loses sight of where he is. Lindo passes out from exhaustion. Subaru destroys 707 supplies while he is sleeping. Takaru looks at the night sky, probably missing his brother, Skido, who thankfully is not in this. <laughs> Ray receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Alice is probably sending him food. Mozart is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Apollon and Senri hold hands. You know, two cinnamon rolls pairing together. I, I can stand behind that. Isaac thinks about home. Day two. Isaac shoots an arrow into 707 head. Okay, Isaac is a great shot. Oh my god, this is the second person he shot in the head. I didn't even think he grabbed like an arrow, bow, and quiver. Wow. Kyoka receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Rei, Yusuke, and Akito hunt for other tributes. Senri questions his sanity. I don't know why the hell I can't read that anymore. 
Takaru tries to sleep through the entire day. Same. Van Helsing travels to higher ground. Rem searches for firewood. Lindo makes a slingshot. Subaru collects fruit from a tree. Mozart kills Apollon with a hatchet. Dude, okay, Mozart has a thing for killing gods because in my first run-through of trying to record this, Mozart killed Takaru, and I'm, like, low-key still bitter about it. Um, and now he killed Apollon, so, you know, Mozart really has no fear for any of the gods. Starlet discovers a cave. Yusung receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Fallen Tributes Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Sho, District 2. Shunso, District 11. 707, District 7. Apollon, District 1. Night 2. Subaru, Yusuke lets Subaru into his shelter. Rem and Kyoka sleep in shifts. Van Helsing and Senri sleep in shifts. Takaru receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. He'd do better with a sword, but you know, he could probably take what he gets. Yusung hums quietly. Mozart and Scarlet huddle for warmth. Lindo and Ray sleep in shifts. Akito bashes Isaac's head in with a mace. Dude, maybe it's a good thing in the last one that, like, Senri killed Akito, like, right off the start. Like, Akito's kill count is, like, at three at this point. Oh my god, this is awful. Day three. Van Helsing, Ray, Kyoka, and Mozart form a suicide pact, killing themselves. All four of them succeeded? No! Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god, this one's much more, like, cutthroat than the last one. I thought the last one was bad. Oh my god. Lindo, Akito stalks Lindo. Yusuke tries to spear fish with a trident. Subaru constructs a shack. Takaru questions his sanity. Don't we all? Senri injures himself. Oh no, baby. Rem overhears Scarlet and Yusung talking in the distance. Fallen Tributes 3. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Isaac, District 3. Van Helsing, District 4. Ray, District 8. Kyoka, District 11. Mozart, District 3. Oh my, I can't believe we just lost four of them to a suicide pact. That's so many. Night three. Akito is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Yusuke loses sight of where he is. Scarlet receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Subaru is awoken by nightmares. Senri, Rem, and Yusung discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Takaru climbs a tree to rest. Lindo is unable to start a fire and sleeps without much warmth. The feast. Oh no, I'm not ready to see how many people die. <laughs> the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's family. Akito decides not to go to the feast. Yusung decides not to go to the feast. Scarlet decides not to go to feast. And this next four is what I'm the most terrified to scroll down to see, especially because Takaru is involved. Okay, not what I thought it was going to be. Subaru, Takaru, and Rem track down and kill Senri. I hope to god Akito doesn't find out that they killed Senri. Yusuke pushes Lindo off a cliff during a knife fight. Day 4. Yusung receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Yusuke runs away from Subaru. Scarlet questions his sanity. Akito receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Rem explores the arena. Takaru searches for a water source, which checks out, because he's the water god. 
Fallen tributes. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Senri, District 5. Lindo, District 12. Night 4. Takaru, Yusuke, and Yusung discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Subaru quietly hums. Scarlet strangles Akito with a rope. Whoa, dude. In the last one I did, Scarlet had a kill count of two. And I thought, like, that was impressive. And, like, I think this is his first kill this round. But, like, the fact that he killed Akito, who has a kill count of three, I'm pretty sure the highest kill count in the game so far, is impressive. The fact that Akito couldn't overtake Scarlet, who's a pacifist, that's good for you, Scarlet. I'm proud of that. Rem cooks his food before putting out his fire. Day 5. Takaru scares Yusung off. Yusuke sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Rem searches for firewood. Scarlet sets... Subaru on fire with a Molotov? Oh my god! S Scarlet decided he was going to be badass again. Oh my god. I mean, a fire is a good way to kill Subaru. He's a vampire. I mean, it works. Fallen tributes. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Akito, District 5. Subaru, District 10. Both killed by Scarlet. Night 5. Takaru goes to sleep. Yusuke and Scarlet talk about the tribute still alive. Rem and Yusung hold hands. Day 6. Dude, this one's going a lot longer. This one's somehow way more brutal than the last one, but a lot longer. Like, the last one was over in, like, four days. But, you know... Takaru is still alive, so I'm not going to complain. Yusung tries to spear fish with a trident. Rem sprains his ankle while running away from Takaru. Yusuke searches for a water source. Scarlet searches for firewood. Fallen tributes. No cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Night 6. Yusung screams for help. Rem be begs Yusuke to kill him. He refuses, keeping Rem alive. Takaru cries himself to sleep. Low-key on brand. Scarlet tries to sing himself to sleep. Oh, baby. He's probably having nightmares from the two people he brutally murdered. Rem receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. This is day seven. I forgot to say that. Yusuke explores the arena. Takaru scares Scarlet off. Yusung cannot handle the circumstances and commit suicide. Oh, that's awful, but, like, low-key, psyche-wise, like, that kind of checks out. Like, he's such an innocent boy. Like, I didn't think, like, he'd be able to handle this. I'm pretty sure he might have killed somebody. I don't remember. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Yusung, District 7. Night 7. Takaru and Rem talk about the tribute still alive. Scarlet and Yusuke talk about the tribute still alive. Ooh, do we have some alliances forming here, maybe? Day 8. Rem poisons Takaru's drink. He drinks it and dies. Alliance is my ass. I can't believe Rem just killed Takaru. He was doing so well. I had such high hopes for him. Like, he made it in the top four, which is much better than he did the last round. But the fact that he still died? No. <sighs> Yusuke defeats Scarlet in a fight, but spares his life. See, why couldn't they have been switched? Like, this alliance held up. Fallen tributes. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Takaru, District 1. My love. Night 8. Rem sets up camp for the night. Yusuke is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Scarlet sees a fire but stays hidden. Day 9. 
Scarlet dies of dysentery. I was literally just about to say before I read Day 9 that I hope that Scarlet brutally murders everyone, and then I read that he died of dysentery. So now I don't know who I want to win because I don't care for either of the choices. <laughs> Yusuke severely injures Rem and leaves him to die. That doesn't- oh! Okay, apparently leaving him to die means that he actually dies. Okay, Fallen Tributes. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Scarlet, District 6. Rem, District 12. The winner is Yusuke from District 9. Literally probably the least expected. He didn't really do much. But you know, sometimes that's what saves you. Placement. Yusuke, winner, District 9, two kills. Okay, he killed two people, he did some. Rem, second place, District 12, three kills. One of which was Takaru, and I'm gonna be petty about it. Scarlet, third place, District 6, two kills. Takaru, fourth place, District 1, one kill. Yusung, dis fifth place, District 7, one kill. Subaru, 6th place, District 10, 1 kill. Akito, 7th place, District 5, 3 kills. I like how the top 7 all have at least 1 kill. That's impressive. Lindo, 8th place, District 12, 0 kills. Senri, 9th place, District 5, 0 kills. Mozart, 10th place, District 3, 1 kill. Kyoka, 11th place, District 11, 0 kills. Ray, 12th place, District 8, 0 kills. Van Helsing, 13th place, District 4, 0 kills. Isaac, 14th place, District 3, 2 kills, both of which were arrow headshots. 10 out of 10 for that. Apollon, 15th place, District 1, 0 kills. 707. 16th place, District 7, 0 kills. Shunso, 17th place, District 11, 0 kills. Sho, 18th place, District 2, 1 kill. Ayato, 11th place, District 10, 0 kills. Fenrir, 20th place, District 8, 0 kills. I, 21st place, District 2, 0 kills. Victor, 22nd place, District 4, 0 kills. He was actually the victor the first time I recorded. Um, so I'm surprised he kind of died so fast. Natsume, 23rd place, District 9, 0 kills. Karamiya, 24th place, District 6, 0 kills. It was kind of funny how Karamiya died in the last one. He died by falling, trying to climb a tree and falling off, and in doing so, he actually killed Kyoka too. It was really funny for, like, a way that they died. And then this is the summary of everything that happened, but without the pictures. And then the placements goes over order, the district placements, and... The kill count. Rem and Akito tied for having three kills each. Isaac, Yusuke, Scarlet had two kills each. Takaru, Sho, Subaru, Mozart, and Yusung each had one kill. That's pretty impressive. The kill count was not that high or long in the last playthrough. So I'm actually happy that this playthrough actually had more substance to it. Um, the last one was kind of, like, over real quick, and the way that, um, the way that Victor became the victor, <laughs> um, was, like, because his opponent, I forgot who it was, but, like, they stepped on the landmine and blew themselves up, so Victor just kind of won by default, like, he had no hand in the killing, so... I'm actually kind of happy that this one lasted longer, Takaru lived longer, he still died in the end, but he made fourth place, that's pretty good, I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments below what you guys 
thought of it. If you would want to see this again, maybe with different characters, it can be like all show, like all one show, or it can be maybe like another mix up of random like shows or the same shows but different characters from it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing it or if you guys know of any other like cool simulation games like this that you think would apply well to Otomania, feel free to suggest them down below. I think that'd be really fun. Also, please let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this setup. If the audio sounds good, if visually it looks fine, um, this is new equipment for me, so I really want to learn and your feedback would be really, really helpful. And so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I release more Otomania videos or just other fun videos on my channel. I release Otomania videos every other Monday, so feel free to check those out. And I also have a playlist on my channel with all the past Otomania videos, so if you want to get caught up or you missed an episode, go check it out. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.